Okay, in today's video, as you can see, I am going to go over how to write the equation of a line in the slope intercept form y equals mx plus b if we're given two points. And in this video, I'm going to try and go through three different examples. So let's just get started with the first one. We're going to determine the equation of a line in the slope intercept form that goes through the points 3, 2, and 6, 3. Okay, now the slope intercept form is simply y equals mx plus b, and that means in order to write the equation for the line, we need an m and we need a b. And you can see we don't have an m or a b. We just have two points, 3, 2, and 6, 3. Now we can calculate m and b, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to calculate m. We're going to start with calculating the slope. m is the slope, and b is the y intercept. So this is the equation we use to calculate the slope. m, the symbol for the slope, is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So you can see we have two points. Each one has an x and a y, x and a y. And we're just going to simply designate, and it doesn't matter which one, we're going to designate one point as point one and the other point as point two. Okay, so that means we have an x1 and a y1 and an x2 and a y2 because this is what we're saying is point one and this we're saying is point two. If you want to switch them, it doesn't matter. You'll get the same answer. Now we're simply going to plug the values in for x and y, 1 and 2. So that means that y2, as you can see, is 3. So it's 3 minus y1. y1 is 2, so it's 3 minus 2. x2 is 6. So it's 6 minus x1 is 3. And that means that the slope is simply going to be 1 third because 3 minus 2 is 1. 6 minus 3 is 3. And the slope of our line is going to be or is one third. So now we have the slope, but we need the b. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the next slide and we're gonna calculate b, the y-intercept. b is the y-intercept. So we're going to choose one of our two points. I think I chose this point. We're gonna plug the values in for x and y and m, because now we know we have an x, we have a y from this point, and we have an m, which we calculated on the previous slide, and then we can calculate b, and get the y-intercept. So we're just going to plug the numbers in. 3 is y. 3 is y. y is 3. The slope is 1 third from the previous slide. Now this is mx, which means m times x, or the slope times x. x is 6, and then plus b. Now we're just going to simplify and solve for b. So we still have 3. Now this is 1 third times 6, which you can just do 1 times 6 divided by 3, or however you want to do that on your calculator, or maybe you know that 1 third of 6 is 2 plus b. Now we're going to solve for b. We're going to move this 2 or this positive 2 to the other side, which means we're going to subtract 2 from both sides, and that gives us that b is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. 2 plus b minus 2, or 2 minus 2, is 0. So all we have left on this side is b, and that means b is equal to 1. Now we can write the equation because we have an m, one-third, and a b, one, and we know the equation for that line that passes through those two points is y equals one-third x plus one. One-third is the slope, which we found on the previous slide, and one is the y-intercept, which we just found up here like that. Okay, so now I'm going to do two more. We'll go a little faster. I tried to pick one with negative numbers and a little more complicated for the next two examples. But this one, we determine the equation of the line in the slope in a set form that goes through the points minus 2, 3, and 8, 8. So once again, slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. We need an m. We need a b. We don't have either. We're going to use this equation again to solve for the slope. m is the slope. b is the y-intercept. And we're going to plug, well, we're going to say that's m1 and, no, that's x1 and y1, x2 and y2. And the same thing, plug the values in. And let's see how we're going to do this. Okay, we want to be a little careful here, so I'll point that out. Anyway, we have y2 is 8, and y1 is 3, so it's minus 3. Now, x2 is 8, and it's minus. Now, you have to be very careful here. This is minus 2. It's y2, excuse me, it's x2 minus, so that's x2 minus x1. Well, x1 is minus 2. So it's minus a minus, which you know minus a minus is a plus. So that's going to give us that 8 minus 3 is 5, and 8 minus 
minus 2, maybe I should have put parentheses here, minus 2 is 10, which that's 5 over 10, which means the slope of that line is simply 1 half. Okay? So now we have the slope. We know m. we got to get b again. So b, we're just going to plug the values in. I can't remember which point I chose. It was minus 2, 3, or 8, 8. But let's just see. Maybe I chose, yes, I chose 1 to make it a little harder. So y is 3 equals the slope is 1 half, which is times minus 2 because that's the x. y equals mx plus b plus b. Don't forget your minus signs. And now we have that 3. Now this is 1 half times minus 2, which is minus 1 plus b. We're going to move the minus 1, add the opposite. That's plus 1. And that gives us that b is 4 because 3 plus 1 is 4 and minus 1 plus 1 is 0, so we just have b. And that means that the equation of a line that goes through the point minus 2, 3, and 8, 8 is y equals 1 half x, y equals mx plus b, y equals 1 half x, 1 half from the previous slide, we got the slope, and b is 4. Okay, one more. Go a little quicker again this time. You can pause here and try and figure it out first if you want, and then watch to finish the video. But we have our equation. We need an m and a b. We can use this equation for the slope. We have x1, y1, x2, y2. Plug the values in, and we get that y2 is 1. y1 is 9, so it's minus 9. And then we have x2, and then we have y1, no, x1, excuse me, y2 minus y1, x2 is minus 2, minus 2, all right, please be careful with the minus signs and the negatives, okay, and so therefore we have that that is going to be equal to 1 minus 9 is minus 8, minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4, that's minus 8 divided by minus 4, which is a minus a minus Minus divided by minus is positive, and 8 divided by 4 is 2. So therefore, the slope is 2. Okay? Same thing. Next slide. Let's get our b. Plug the values in. Which num I chose this point. I like to choose maybe the points that don't have any negative signs, and it makes it a little easier. So this is 9 minus 2. That's y and x. And we're going to plug our slope in. It's 2 plus b, which means we have 9 equals 4 plus b. Move the 4 over, add the opposite. The opposite of 4 is minus 4, so we're going to subtract 4 from both sides. We get b is 5. And once again, we found the slope on the previous slide was 2. Here we found the y-intercept was 5. And so the equation of the line that passes through 2, 9, and minus 2, 1 is y equals mx plus b, y equals 2x plus 5. Okay, there you go. You should be able to do those. Go back, try them on your own. Pause the video, check to make sure you know how to do them. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, please do all the following three things. Subscribe to my video. Get all my excellent uh, physics, chemistry, and math videos. Leave me a, or Give me a thumbs up for this video and leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. Thank you. We'll see you in the next video.